It's about that time, you know. Uh, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. On the all out show. You know? Yeah. Once again, Root Jew Lord said. Shit. Check it, y'all. Time keeps on slipping, 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 slipping. Down. Time to turn on the radio. It's the all out show. Come on, hoes, put your hands in the air. It's the Lord said. Rockin' what I want with Root Jew over there. Out in LA on the West. All the air on his chest, cold smell like yeah. a mess. Lord said New York, never eating pork, I wanna fuck that bitch. Woo. She said no, that's fucked up. Damn. Oh well, shit. What I'm gonna do with this poor ass bitch? Yeah. I'ma give her a radio, but on shape for fifth. The all out show, but we come well equipped Word. with all the shit that we like to say. Monday to Friday, before the A. We like to chill on now and hang with dragons, dragons. fly through the air. We know what's happening. Yo. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what? Uh, it's the all out show. Put your hands in the air. Put some time to be on, y'all. Uh, uh, what? All around the building, you know what I mean? Yes, indeed. We got the show. We got the song. We got what you need. Yes, yes, y'all. Don't stop. Keep on. Check us out right now. Turn on the radio. 888 Three, three, four, five. It's Lord Sin, Ruth, Jew. We got KG on the boards. We got the beat going. Yeah. You know what I mean? All out show. Yo, what's wrong with y'all, man? Let's start it off. Come on. Let's go. 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 Yeah. 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 Let that be right for a while, you know what I mean? It's who is sick today. It's Dragon. Dragon ain't doing the boards. That's happening. Jew. He on vacation, putting dickers in his nose, you know his masturbation. He's rude, he's nasty with a black voice. Lord said, over here, got no choice. Hold it down on the all-out show. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Lord said, hold it down, not me, now I do. 888-742-3345. Shout out to, ooh, sexy, ooh, sexy ass wit in the building. Sexy ass wit. Smelling all good. Yeah, let's get to the show, uh... What's going on here? We got a topic to talk about. The topic is, who in the hell saw the Soul Train Awards last night? All I know is that I'm going to let you know who had the fattest ass on the Soul Train Awards last night. It was spectacular. Great performances. They show Soul Train Awards from now on, man. Fuck Rap City, City Rap, um, Rap On, perform, you know, fuck all that bullshit. She was official. I'm talking about that. That's next. Uh, also, we got Steve Nichols talking about, you know what I mean? NFL. Talking about the New York Giants. You know how we do? DC is out of here. Fuck out of here. Fucking bum ass. RG3. RG needs is out of here. Also, we got the request hour. That's Monday, starting at 5 o'clock. We do that every Monday. You know what I mean? Got to get the music news and the drum mix a little bit earlier. Because I want to play some mixes for y'all, man. You know? Uh, call, up, call up right now. Talk about whatever you want. You have to talk about what food you ate at Turkey because, you know, Turkey Day. Oh, you can just talk about whatever it is, man. But I'm definitely going to talk about the Soul Train Awards. And they shape 45. Let's play some music. Come right back. Let's go. And the, and the record said, Oh, my mic is loud. Not right bad. Yeah. Uh huh. Turn that beat up a little bit. Yeah. Uh huh. Yo, yo, this is for S when she's chilling. She ain't doing the bones. And that's my friend. Ooh. Nobody's seen the S-Way. Well, you know, and she got her own show, too. And nobody's seen the S-Way. What's up with that? Know what I mean? What up, Say It's not about me, though. Nah, not even about you. I'm just nah. saying, like, you know, they ain't got nobody, like, you know, do a good job. Even, like, a little, little you know, promo S-Way show. Nobody be like, s You just did it just now, live on air. Oh, come on. That's what's popping, though. What up, Sid? I'm chilling with something, man. You watched, you watched the Soul Train Awards All last right. night, and now you did You Can Sing. Because it was so goddamn good last night. <laughs> I see the biggest ass on television in a long time. In a long time. Wait, hold on, before we go to the phone lines. Wait, let's go to the phone lines real quick. Ray. What's happening, man? What's up, my nigga? What what it do though? What what up though? Hey man, I I seen that ass too, man. Tell me what Damn. ass that was what the fuck tell me who the fuck I'm talking about. You talking about K Michelle, man. <laughs> 
That's who you talk about, God. motherfucker. With. You, it's some booty shots, man. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. That's regular ass. You can't say it, but I can. That's all ass, man. I think it is all ass. All up in it. <laughs> Just bury my face in that motherfucker. <laughs> Lord said, man, I called in, man. You... I'm telling you, man, you're doing a good job without your boy, man. I appreciate that, man. You ain't mm-hmm. nervous or nothing, man. You handling your business, man. Man, I'm doing this for 18, I'm up in something years. You know what I mean? I'm trying to hold it down for everybody. You know, you know have, everybody have a good time, man. You know what I mean? You see, that's what I'm talking about. Fuck my man with all that negative shit, man. Mm-hmm. Keep his ass on vacation and run the show, man. <laughs> I got to hold it down. It's all good, though. Know what I mean? 8 8 shay 4 5 Speaking to a hating ass faggot. What up, eh? Hey, what's up, fat ass? You all right? Yeah, what's up, bitch? What you ate for Thanksgiving? Oh, man. You know, I can't call it. Hey, I just got a quick question for you. Yeah. Uh, how many dead animals did you stuff in your fat fucking mouth this year? Uh, Your father... Yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> your old ass dog. <laughs> that's dope. That's dope. Um, and and you fucking up the show, fag. And let's keep going. Eight 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 forty five. Talking about the Soul Train Awards. Yo, Keith. Yo, what's going on with you, sir? What's up, man? Did you see the Soul Train Awards? Man, I was at the Soul Train Awards. Man, I'm just now getting back to Compton right now. Getting off the ninety one. Wow. Just Poppy, now driving man. back. It was live though. Was it live? Like that? It was live. Hell yeah! Like you even backstage, old pimps and player hustlers out there, you know they they out here faking it in, in Compton. You know what I'm saying? You see these boys on Long Beach Boulevard; they're not really pimping like you see Charlie Wilson and all these other cats doing. You know, like Don Wine, Magic Wine in Vegas. I ain't never seen it like that. Dude, yeah, they, they 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 for real with that shit, man. Um, yeah, man. I, how did you think about the Braxton, the Braxton chick? Yeah, man. She kind of, you know what I mean? She's kind of living up her sisters, uh, her sisters. Thing, bro, she's not even singing that good. The show wasn't that good. I was kind of turned down by her. You know, she had a little. I think the biggest buns was Tay Michelle, but I don't think hers is real. People are saying that. I don't know. Let's um, let's speak to Brandon. Brandon, what's going on? Hey, what up, fair? What's going on, bro? Hey, I, I'm with I'm with the last caller, man. If, if an ass is too firm and it don't move. It, it, I think it's fake. It can't be that damn firm, man. It got to jiggle a little bit, man, you know? It was jingling a little bit. Not, I know what you mean, but the ass is really heavy. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, man, but when she first came out, though, I don't think her ass was that big. That's why I think it's fake mm. when she was coming out back in the, you know, a few years back, man. She getting that new ass money, you know what I mean? Right, right. I don't know. Well, well, Brandon, oh. man, thanks for calling, my brother. And let me get this line right here. Get off of this yeah, line. Yeah, I'm thanks. looking at the video right now. Now, now ask what you think, S. I'm watching the video from last night's uh, Soul Train Awards right now in the studio. Okay. But okay. I don't know the S. It don't really look fake, you know? I don't know. She look uh, good, though. Shout out to K. Michelle. She on that white, good in the all-in-one cat suit, body suit. I yeah. don't know. She look good. So you saying the ass is not real? Sure? I'm I'm saying that it's too but it's too big, like firm, like and like bubbly, like why? But how you know it's firm if you didn't feel it? Can you, like visually you could just say yo. Uh, depending on the walk and depending on the shape of her legs and like her thighs. Sound like chicken, B. <laughs> you know them <laughs> legs and thighs well, don't you? Say? God damn it, shit! I had a special. What about? <laughs> and look, she she can sing though. She could sing, but I don't know why. With the rabbit mouth, she doing her thing. Oh, man, let's go back to the phone. <laughs> okay, she must be a good top. At least on the background, because I like to hear ass. Pete. Pete. What up, though? What up, though, man? What, what, what do you think about that ass? Kate Michelle ass. Well, shit, I think that shit real, blood. <laughs> I'm with you, Pete. <laughs> I think that shit real. It's a lot of girls in Detroit with ass just like that. Mm-hmm. That shit, that shit real. <laughs> real ass. It's getting over, too. Yeah. Getting over. Well, thanks for calling, Pete. Exciting, brother. Uh, hey, sl- hey, bro. hey, hey Slim, man. The world by Eminem and, uh, no Eminem. request, you fucking asshole. That is <laughs> around 5 o'clock, man. Not now. Mark. Yo, what's going on? What's going on, bro? Man, yo, the last caller is calling Save from Compton. He's lying. He wasn't at the awards. That shit was a month ago. We got <laughs> that shit a month ago. Oh, wow. <laughs> Damn. Oh, 
motherfucker talking about he just driving back. Lying like a motherfucker. That shit was a month ago. It was in November. It was, it was in Vegas, right? Five. Oh, wow. He God just blew damn. his spot. Yeah, yeah but it was live, though. Tay Michelle, I, I was up there with my son. I was up there or whatever, but I was... I had to hang up on you because you got to get a new phone. You're going to add it now. Stop shopping at CVS, brother. Peter Mack. Hey, hey, hey. What's up, Sierra, baby? How you doing, dog? All right. Now, Pippin, tell me, was that ass real or fake? Man, let me tell you something, man. I think the ass was fake, but don't get me wrong. It looked good, man, because I bounced that ham, man. But, mm -hmm. hey, man, that was just way too much junk in the trunk, man. It's a lot. That's what I'm saying. It's a lot. I like it. <laughs> yeah, that was too much. God damn. All right. Let's take a never call him. Chase in VA. Hey, what up, Steve, man? I'm sorry to hurt your feelings, man, but K. Michelle and I already came out to the world and announced that her ass was fake, bro. Oh, did she? I missed that. Yeah, she already oh. did that, but yeah, man, love the show and you keep doing your thing, man. That's oh. Thanksgiving season. Oh, man, Thanksgiving thanks. Stuff. Chase, you fucked me up. Chase, goddamn, damn. It's all good. Hey, they shape 45. Uh, yo, you know what? Let me play some music real quick. Uh, uh, before I even get into the music, let me play something from over here. Um, shout out to Dougie Fresh and Slick Rick for killing it. Shout out to Big Daddy Kane for jumping in the middle of the air doing a split with some tight jeans on. And um, shout out to the, um, Eric Benet, all of them that was killing it. It was a great show. You need to watch it. Let me play something from over here. This right here, Slick Rick, the moment I feared. Right corner of the end zone. Decker's got it. Denver touchdown. Marcus Cooper beaten again on the play. You can see it from here. And Manning and Decker, for the fourth time today, have connected for a Broncos touchdown. Carolina 7 of 9 this year on third downs. Tight line splits. Richie Brockle. The tight end traded from far to near. It's Cam Newton. Uh -oh. Ball loose. Picked up Tessa. by Tampa Bay, but one official has already signaled touchdown. Turn and handle in the left side. Find a little bit of a hole. Kick his right, Kirby. He's about the 40. Midfield. 45 is on the run. Lynch. 40. Pushes the man. 35. Look at him go. He's down to 20. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. Got Steve Nichols in the house. Yo, what up, Sid? Yes, we back with the NFL recap with the homie. How you doing, sir? Nah, man, it's a pleasure, man. I'm doing good. I'm doing good, man. Uh, before we even get into the NFL, mm -hmm. how did Thanksgiving, man? Nah, it was First good, of all, man. It was good. I'm telling you, it's, it's crazy because this is my second Thanksgiving. I've got relatives up in Canada, so they celebrate Thanksgiving like in October. So I'm getting like a double portion, what, man. What are you talking about? But man, it's that Canadian Thanksgiving, bro. Oh, That's man. what it's all about, man. I, I got one in October. Uh, I got one here in November. It was fantastic. How hopefully yours was the same as well. Well, you know, it's kind of like mourning a bit because, you know, my mother went not passed away. So mm. kind of felt weird, you know, but it was all good. My auntie, and it was weird with that too, my auntie couldn't show up because she was kind of sick. But as far as my cousin, my cousin Rob, or my cousins, all three of my cousins, and um, it was weird because his wife, he's Puerto Rican, like Dominican. Yeah. So I was eating like, like Spanish, like Thanksgiving and other Thanksgiving. And, and, like, you know, national black thing. You know, but it was cool. I was just mad because I put $100 up. <laughs> tell motherfuckers, yo, whoever got that fried turkey is on. I was going to pay 100 Did you have fried turkey this, this Nah, year? man, not this year. It's fantastic. I've had it before in the past. That's what's up right there, the fried turkey. Man, man Torch, you had fried turkey, man? What you have, man? Nah, I ain't having it in a minute, man. Oh, shout out to Torch, man. He's, he's doing <laughs> the boards for me, man. Uh, K. Chi has been bitten by a dragon, so she couldn't. <laughs> come to work today but she will be all right bitten by a dragon yes I probably get a unicorn i guess that's like the the, the, the and field, yeah, field it was that. in her sleep man yeah. she she's mad about the jets anyway <laughs> 8 8 shade 45 we're talking about football steve what's going on man? yo man we got put us up a date let's go yo, man we've got like I, it's amazing the, the the season just continue to just wall i like guess wind down to the end and everything right now is just kind of culminating in teams setting up their playoff positions and and just kind of setting themselves up for for a late run in in the postseason you have like the the kansas city chiefs and the denver broncos it was a rematch from a yeah, couple weeks yeah. ago come on now. and yeah peyton manning took it to them boys again it was it was peyton. and that's the thing about it the kansas city chiefs they've had a good season they're gonna finish pretty strong they're gonna be a playoff team um so they're making strides coming from last year but 
when they're matching up against a team like Peyton Manning and the Broncos or like the San Diego Chargers or a lot of heavy hitters in the league, that's where you see, particularly a team like the Broncos, you're going to have to be able to put up points against that team. And they jumped out to a lead 21-7, to right, right. but eventually Manning and those boys, they just outscored them. And at the yeah. end of the day, they just couldn't keep up. Alex Smith and those boys weren't able to keep up offensively. And uh, oh wait, hold on. can you turn it down a little bit, George? Uh, yeah, no, that was a, that was a big loss for him because now Denver's sitting atop the AFC, um, in prime position to get home field advantage throughout the entire mm. AFC. So, so what's Denver's up. record right now? Denver's record. Denver right now is sitting pretty at ten and two, ten and two, and uh, mm. you know, undefeated at home. And right now they're in the top spot in the AFC. And who they play next? I guess the Broncos. Oh, I guess I got to check the schedule for that okay, one. But okay, they're in but pretty good. They they doing good. They're in good spot. And Kansas City's just falling by the wayside right now. They'll be good, but I don't know, man. As far as them being make a, a legit run for the playoffs, they're gonna have problems with that. What about Wes Walker? Is um, alligators still biting his feet? Nah, nah. The, the alligators or... left them alone yesterday, right, but um, right. they were running away. Derek Decker, man, four touchdowns in the game of his life, almost two hundred yards. He was good, man. But like I said, just leading up to the playoff things tonight's game. The Seattle Seahawks against the the New Orleans Saints. Now that is a motherfucking yeah, right there. Yeah, that's going to be the game that. Pretty now, is much, that going to be in New Orleans? No, nah, it's going to be in Seattle. Ooh. And the Seahawks have a 13 game home winning streak there that's going to be putting on the line against this team. It's amazing, see. It's like yo, they they've they've lost one game this year. It, it was to Indianapolis in Indiana in Indianapolis. But the Seahawks are a different team whenever they play. When they get building. to the playoffs, it's like, you serious? Yeah. And, and that's the thing. Like, both of these teams that are going to be facing off tonight, the Saints and the Seahawks, when they play in their home stadiums, they play like different teams, and they're almost virtually unbeatable. That's what makes the significance of this matchup tonight even that much more um, pronounced because of the fact that whoever wins this game between these two, I mean, Carolina a little bit more because now the Panthers are starting to come up behind them and uh-huh. have a shot at taking the division. But particularly for the Seahawks, like, if they were able to – Win this game tonight and continue to just run, you know, run out the season mm-hmm. and get that home field advantage throughout the entire playoffs. It's it's quite easy to say that they might be representing the NFC in the Super Bowl this year if everything has to go through Seattle. It's a very good possibility that that can happen, and it starts yeah. right tonight. And that's uh, eight o'clock. Yeah, eight mm-hmm. o'clock on, on NFL on, Network on ESPN. On ESPN, yep. okay, okay, good, good, eight thirty game on ESPN. So free, oh maybe good. <laughs> you gotta love free. Eight 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 forty five. Um, but so um, what else happened? Um, um, after the afternoon game, oh the Jets. Yeah, the Jets are terrible, oh, man. man. Geno Smith got benched. Um, and rightfully so because he's been playing terrible yeah, the past couple weeks. Man, them Jerry curls fucking him up. But the thing Jets about it though, shit. they already announced today that he's going to start again next week. Are and you I mean, fucking you know what? When when you think about it, honestly, sir, Gino, let's, be real. let's be real. Let let's be real. Let's be real. The Jets aren't going anywhere this year, right? They ain't going and if you're not going anywhere, you're not going to make the playoffs. You're not going to win a championship. You drafted this quarterback in the second round to see what he can do. You're going to lose anyway. You might as well lose with him yeah, in there where true. you get an opportunity to evaluate him. Yeah. So that's the reason why, I mean, you could probably justify starting him again this week and yeah. not going up to, to back up Matt, Matt Sims. I mean, your future is not going to be Matt Sims, the backup quarterback, and David Garrard, who they have on the team as well. He definitely isn't going to be the future as well. <coughs> so you might as well use these games. I mean, they they still have a shot. They're 5-7, and seven, they still, they and they still have a shot but um, at making the playoffs. But you might as well just give this kid a chance and just see what he can do. Come on. And just kind of evaluate them. I mean, that's exactly what they do because next year is supposed to be a quarterback rich draft. And if you get a good mm. look at your guy, Gino, see, well, maybe he's not the guy that we can kind of lay our hat on, then yeah. that'll justify you going out and drafting another quarterback in, in that you know, quarterback rich draft next year. You know? That's fine. That's mm-hmm. fine. Mm-hmm. Um, what about, um, okay, there was another game after that, the. Uh, uh, Hold on now. It was 49ers. Yeah, the 49 Oh, that's the game where your boy, uh, I don't know if you saw that. That's yeah. the game your boy Vernon Vernon Davis. Yeah, got got tackled by the uh, the family jewels, the junk, or whatever like that. That's fine. That was kind of crazy, man. I'd have been like, you motherfucker! <laughs> and they was doing some acrobatic shit. Motherfuckers was jumping in the air. Yeah, Vernon Davis, man. He had that like you know that athleticism or something no. like that going on there. But that was a big win for the 49ers, too because okay. you know they're in a tight race in that division too. The Seahawks have that division locked up, <laughs> but the the 49ers, you know, don't. I mean, their defense is still top 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 notch. It's still stellar. And that'll get it done. But and that's what's it. their record? I guess the 49ers right now, I guess they're what, uh seven and five? Um right now. Wild so, card. No, I mean right now they're 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 battling a couple teams in the NFC to make that run. But I tell you what, man, with Colin Kaepernick and like you got 
you know, Mike Crabtree that's finally back. He made his first appearance yeah, last week. Yeah, you got yeah, Vernon yeah. Davis, Mario Manningham, Vernon, Vernon, I mean, Frank Gore. Frank and Gore boys running, there. man. I tell you what, man, like, and the defense with Pat Willis and the boys leading the charge, that's a team you probably don't want to see, you know, if you're a team mm. trying to make a run for the playoffs or even in the playoffs because they definitely have what it takes to, to get the job done and make a, a nice little run for themselves. What other games are on? Uh... You had a big game between... Uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Baltimore Ravens. The nah. Ravens got themselves into that sixth spot in the playoffs game right now with that mm. win over the with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, I was going for Pittsburgh, man. Just show love, man. Cause your child, my nigga, Tom Greer, but nah, you man. know, you're a Pittsburgh fan, and you nah. know, it's, Mike Tom's getting fan. a little bit of heat too for uh, you know, like a stepping on the field of play. Yeah, what's up with that? Yeah, talk the, about that because I saw the yeah, footage. Yeah, and it's it's unfortunate, man. I love Mike Tomlin, but yeah, you you can't do that. You know that that's as unsportsmanlike as unsportsmanlike gets. And he's probably going to get. I don't know. We we're, right now you're hearing about talking about the Steelers possibly losing a draft pick or so because of that incident, or him getting oh, fined. I'm pretty shit. sure the the league's going to really review the whole situation and and get back with a verdict later in the week. But you got a situation like that, and then see, you got the Carolina Panthers. You know, this is the team now that's surging big time. They've won yeah, their eighth game yesterday, yeah. completely, you know, shutting down Damn the Tampa Bay it. Buccaneers. Yeah, yeah. And, and that team really, really, really is a team to watch. You know what I mean? Like the if you didn't Orleans, yeah, yeah so. if you didn't New Orleans Saints, you kinda gotta watch out for them. They're nine and three right now. And uh Damn, yeah, they're uh they're definitely time. making some noise, man. They got a primetime game next week and uh against the Saints. And uh that's it, gonna be mega. It's gonna be huge because that you know, depending on the 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 results for tonight, that one can kind of really determine who's gonna you know take the charge and take a lead in that AFC South in the NFC South. Uh-huh. Uh, how about my team, brother? You know, <laughs> motherfucking Giants is RG knees, the Redskins. <laughs> yeah, man, the, the New York Giants. I don't know, man, with the Giants. I guess they got the W, yeah, but it's still it's, it's, it's such a hollow win. You know what I'm saying? No, we, we, and we you, won, you know, you're a Giant fan like myself. Woo! I bleed blue. But it's just a hollow win, you know? Last week was their Super Bowl against the Cowboys, and they dropped the ball on that one. The Redskins, on the other hand, we were talking about this off in the air, man. Yeah. Like, RG3, he, he he just doesn't look like the same quarterback right now. Yeah. And, it's, yeah. and, and, it's, and it's a shame, especially now that, you know, you can see it. I can see it. I'm pretty sure most of the, most of the NFL fans around the league watching the games mm-hmm. can see that as well. But for some reason, Mike Shanahan and those boys in D.C. don't see that. It's not like they don't have a capable backup. Kirk Cousins is decent, and yeah. he showed that. Last year, when I had an opportunity, he's just not right. I'm just not, yeah. He's, he's not, you know, the pocket and all that, man. You see his knees. I thought he got, oh, I thought they almost broke his knees. Remember when he ran and he slipped? Yeah, man. I was like, oh, it's over. Then he just got up like, oh, shit, that was close. Cool. Listen, man, I'm a, I'm a big fan of RG3. He loves the sound of his own voice, but that's okay. You know, the brother's got personality. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. But, uh, Subway sandwich. <laughs> but yeah, he's just got to learn how to kind of control himself and rein himself in with that scrambling and stuff like that, especially with his knee banged up like that. <laughs> but that's but that's the way he plays. Yeah. That's the way he plays. You know, that's how it is. Let's go to the phone lines real quick and speak to motherfucking Beasley. What up, Beasley? Yeah, what's good, family? Steve, what's going on, brother? <laughs> Yo, man, happy Thanksgiving to you, brother. Hope yeah, everything went well. To you, good. I, w- I want to refer to your comment about the Jets are done. I don't think we're done, Steve. And I also want to say, um, Gino's our man, no matter what. Even though everybody knows Matt Smith, when he's in, he's handing the ball off. He ain't throwing the ball. So it's best for the Jets to leave Gino in, even for next year. He's our man. He ain't scared. He got hot. And uh, I was talking, thinking about them Giants. Um, y'all five and seven, right? Yeah, they're, they're done, man. Yeah, we're good. Not going nowhere either, right? We're no, good. They're, they're, we're good. They're, Come they're, on, they're, man. They're done, Beastie. You got to put that second string or third string quarterback <laughs> in because Eli ain't getting nothing done with John. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, you when talking Gino's about what? The, when Gino's in the snap, they don't know what he's going to do. It could be a wildcat coming up. It could be a pass. It could be a run. Yeah, when Gino's yeah. got the ball in his hand, he's, for, for the most part, he's probably turning the ball over. Yeah, that's what he's fucking been doing asshole. That's what... We'll eat that this year, but he's our man for next year, Steve. Yeah, yeah. and again, again, again. again. Man, Come on, man. <laughs> always worry about some more. I appreciate that, my football family. Hey, yeah, brother. Good. Always good talking yeah. to you, man. Goodbye, peace. Let's, uh, let's go speak to uh, David and Georgia. David, what up? What up, what up, what up, Phil? What's oh. going on with you guys, man? Hey, shit. What's up, what's up? Hey, man, I want to talk about this Mike Tomlin thing, man. Mm-hmm. Nah, man, what you got to say, bro? Mike Tomlin, man, this, look, man, this man on some other stuff right now, man. <laughs> you see the lead for what it is, man. He's like the only black coach in the game right now. He's showing his cats, man. What's y'all going to do to me for real? You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. What's y'all going to do to me? Look what they did to the Chicago cat. The, the, the dude out of Chicago, the Lovey head coach, Smith. man. Lovey, man, yeah, 10-6 yeah. record. Doesn't yeah. have a job right he now. He's still fired to do. Yeah. Come on, man. 
Uh, I think I think Mike Tomlin. I guess he's 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 as secure as you could possibly be in Pittsburgh. Uh-huh. That move that he did. I mean, admittedly, so like that's a bad. You can't do that. You can't you can't do that. That's unsportsmanlike, and the league is going to deal with that. You know. What about uh, the Dolphin Cat? Um, they suspended him without pay. Or they on the um the the dude that that quit that was on some like oh, it would beat me up. Oh, oh the John John Martin Rich Yeah, Kanye, what happened with like that? that? I heard that um. So the big white dude they, that was taunting him, mm-hmm. he's getting paid. No, I mean, I guess what they did is they filed like some kind of an extension or something like that. Yeah. While I guess everything is going on, and right now it's just it's just all a bunch of lawyering right now, and it's, that, it's in that kind of hands right now. It's kind of died down a little bit from the fear yeah. that it was like back in the back, you know, a couple weeks ago. But um, I guess that's something that we're gonna probably hear more of once the season comes to an end, and they really get a chance to hit that one hard. Yeah, uh, hit it hard if you want. Um, <laughs> uh, what is it? Oh, tonight. Yeah, man. Is, um, you got the C- yeah, Seahawks and the New Orleans Saints. The yeah. Seahawks got that 13 game home winning streak going on. This is a big game for both teams. Uh-huh. Um, but I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna end up going with the New Orleans Saints. Like I, I really feel that they have a chance of uh-huh. uh, making a difference. You got the Seahawks. You know, tops in the league at stopping the pass, but they're yes. down two, two of their defensive backs, Brandon Browner and uh, you know Thurman are gonna be out tonight. Uh-huh. Um. So I see them getting a chance to really move the ball. And we played that highlight, you know, earlier in the segment yeah. when we were kicking things off of Marshawn Lynch going for that big 67-yard run Woo. the last time that these two teams met in the playoffs yeah, yeah, when they were 7-9, yeah, yeah. and nine, the Seahawks, and the Saints were 11-5 and five at that point in time. Uh-huh. In order for the Seahawks to really be able to do anything like that, they're going to have to really rely on Marshawn Lynch again. Russell Wilson, by the way, like this guy, I know they don't get that much attention because they're out there in Seattle like that. But uh-huh. anytime you get an opportunity to see Marshawn Lynch play on prime time, I tell you what, man, this second-year QB is a special treat to watch. He does everything. He's a winner. He's competitive. He's got a good arm. He just does it right. He plays the position right. He's, man, he could be like the face of the league pretty soon. Wait, man, if somebody want to talk, man, uh, real quick, and the D, Juan G. What's up? What's up? What up, Juan? I want to talk about the Lions, man. I ain't hearing nobody talk about the Lions. Uh-oh. Man. Uh-oh. The Lions didn't play this week. Okay. They got it off. Not. I'm from the D, man, and I, I, I'm about to predict this little simple thing, NFC Championship, because most likely we go face Carolina or San Fran in the first round at home mm-hmm. for a field. So it would be Seattle and the Lions in the NFC Championship. So just get, get a D a little prop, man. I know our cornerbacks suck, but besides <laughs> that, we, uh, we can do it with our offense as well. At least make it to the NFC. Y'all got that I- motherfucker. What's his name? Not 91? Yeah, your boy. Uh, yeah, and Dominican Sue, they got, they got Calvin Johnson, Matt Stafford. Oh, Listen, bro, I love I love the Detroit Lions. I love the talent on that team. The one problem with them making any kind of a big run in the playoffs is their head coach, Jim Schwartz. I think that team. <laughs> he's the worst. He's, he's, he's the problem. And he's, he's going to be the reason he's why. Cool they you know what? I agree. I, 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 two weak points. I hate to say it, but it's the truth. I agree 100. percent Our coaching make terrible decisions. Yeah, that's one. And our cornerbacks are ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if uh, uh, Osmo is still out there, but I'm praying they go take him and go to resign him because uh, Chris Houston and the rest of them bombs. You know, I'm a diehard Detroit fan, but I got to keep it 100, man. They just the corner suck, man. We get any type of shutdown corner, it'll be on the pop. Nah, man. Nah, I'm the awesome one. I love Naniwa. He was good back in the day, but I don't know. I think he's married to like I was reading somewhere he got married to like Kerry Washington or something like that. Man, mm. he's doing good for himself, man. He don't care Kerry about Washington football. Washington, he, he good. Yeah, he's, 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 he's good to go, man. He ain't caring about football right now. All right, eight eight shape forty five, man. Where can they catch you at, man? Yo, man, Sirius NFL Radio, especially tonight, man. We got these games going on on Channel eighty eight on the XM Sirius XM channel dials, bro. It's twenty right. four hour NFL talk, man. That's the place to go. That's what's up, man. I'd like to thank you every time showing up Mondays. Talking about NFL. Nah, it was a pleasure. Always yeah, a pleasure, man. We can't man. talk about the Giants no more. Nah, man. I'm telling you. Unfortunately, Damn, man, man, like there, that's a, that's a bad story talking about it, man. It's it's that's officially like, you know, the Giants are on the clock, man. It's draft time for them. That's, so that's what if we win the does. next game? We don't mean shit, nah, man. man. It's done. They're done. What hap- What would have to happen for the Giants to make any kind of run is they'd have to win out and either Philly and Dallas. Have to lose all their games just all about. All their games. You just know what I'm saying? Right they, the Giants did it to themselves, man. They're terrible. They're a terrible football team. Don't you watch your no. <laughs> It is what it is, man. See, niggas, thank you for coming through. Anytime, man. And um, coming up next, man, look, it's the all request hour that's coming up next, but we only going to do it Twitter style. So tweet us what you want to hear on the Twitter side. You heard? Shade 45. Lord Sears. I'm the realest 
worst nigga in Harlem ever. Known on the streets of Harlem as Stack Cheddar. Man, fuck that nigga. I'm a real nigga, Stack Cheddar. Bids include a four-day stretch for hopping a subway turnstile. Get your hands up. Fuck five oh. From the only radio host gangster enough to report on the ghetto, it's Lord Sear with his ghetto music news. Yeah. That's right. It is Monday, December 2nd, man. 2013 in this bitch. 88 45. I might take some calls on this too, so I'll leave the phone lines open. Uh, just found out Kanye West is earning a million dollar per Yeezy tour stop. Wow. Forbes.com reports that the rapper is grossing over one million per night on the tour, which will put him among the top five earners in music on their 2014 list. Uh, Madonna did her thing this year. Uh, three... 350 million, I guess. Yeah, we're not taking requests, so don't call up, please. My request, I'm talking about the news. Uh, yeah, 350 million. So, Kanye West, man, do damn thing. I don't know if uh, if Kendrick Lamar and Tribe Called Quest are still on the tour, but if so, catch a show as soon as possible. If not, good luck to you, and um, make sure you check out the tour and whatnot, man. All right, and um. Speaking about Kanye, Rolling Stones names the 50 best albums of 2013. They they have Kanye West's Yeezy up there, Drake's Nothing Was the Same, and Danny Brown's Old in his top 20 in the best albums. I'm not going to name all the albums, but you know, it's weird because they rank uh, Kanye West as the highest. This is what they quote. Um... Kanye's electrical electrical masterpiece is his most extreme album ever, which is saying something. No wonder the late great Lou Reed embraced Yeezy, since it's basically the metal machine music concept translated into futuristic hip hop, all industrial overload and hypertense egomania and hostile vibes. Basically to me. I thought this was his worst album ever. Torch, what do you think about this uh, Kanye West album? I don't know, man. I didn't listen to it like that. It, w- it wasn't wasn't catching me like that. I like yeah. a few songs here and there, but I didn't, I didn't listen to it as a whole because it turned me off. It wasn't right. It wasn't. I understand. You know, I mean, yo, bring it back to hip hop one. You know, cool. But he used like two samples. Okay, cool. But it was too much screaming too much yeah. weird i guess right like they say futuristic yeah it was too much for me like stop trying to make an album 2025 you know what i mean like i understand you're very you know it you know smart and all this fashion site and you see things beyond the future but think about the music that's good with you and what you know of course think about what's ahead but damn that that album I was not really digging. I'm sorry. Um, also, um, Drake's "Nothing Was the Same" ranked at number 14, and Danny Brown's "Old" landed at 17, rounding off the 20 list. Also, um, Eminem's recent project "Marshall Mathers" landed at 24. Chance the Rapper "Acid Truck," "Acid Rap," named that. I never heard of him before. I don't kind of know him. Named that 26. So, uh, anyway, get that Eminem's album, man. You know what I mean? And shade 45. And in other news, Suge Knight says Daz produced Snoop's album, not Dr. Dre. I don't know. Snoop Dogg's first album? Mm. I don't know. In addition, um, to recall the time when Russell Simmons, Leo Cohen, tried to sign Snoop Dogg to Def Jam early on, Suge talked about his recent making of the West Coast rap legend, Doggy Style, and who produced it and who didn't and whatnot. He actually said Daz Dillinger did the whole album on Rolling Stone. Damn. I don't know. I mean, if you want to know the whole interview, if you want to know more specifics about it, um, RollingStone.com. He says that um, 
Everybody thought Dr. Dre is what Suge Knight quote. Everybody thought Dr. Dre would be doing the records, but Daz pretty much did the whole album. Suge said at the end of the day, once Daz finished it, everybody wanted Andre to get the credit. Next thing I know, Daz is having a few meetings with Andre and them and came back and said, it's okay, give me a few bucks, and I'll sign anything over that says produced by Andre instead of me. Ah, oh, that don't sound like a meeting to me. <laughs> I, you know, I, I I can't tell if that was a meeting or if that was dumb as shit. But in other news, who's dumb as shit is Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> she, uh, they got her cooking um on Thanksgiving out of rehab. Well, she ain't in rehab no more. But I saw that bitch drink. She could drink a whole gallon, a liter, a gallon of a great goose straight. I don't know what's in that Irish stomach, but she swallows a lot. She showed on the website that she was making a sort of casserole covered in cheese on marshmallows. That's disgusting, what B. What? what? Yeah. And she's also suing Grand Theft Auto V because there's a character in there, supposedly, that looks just like her on the corner or... Like on the call, you're supposed to ask her some questions or where to buy guns, some shit. She's suing Grand Theft Auto Five right now. Come on, man. Come on. Oh, she she got a lot on her mind. Yeah. Too much on her mind. According to TMZ, she's um, preparing a lawsuit for uh there's an image using her without permission. Um uh, the character's name is Lacey Jones and looks kinda oh. like Lindsay. Mm. Uh, yeah. And um, last but not least, Michael Jordan is going to be a father again. Mm -hmm. At fifty, he's in the fifty NBA. Now, nah, fifty years old, we gonna have another kid. Knocking him out. It's gonna be nothing to him because the way these cocksuckers wearing them reissue Jordans. <laughs> you know what I mean? They all gonna go right to that little nigga pocket, and I hope his name ain't um, lavender, or motherfucking washing machine, or lasagna, or all these kids' new names coming out, man. You know, ivory soap. You know, uh, yeah, the list goes on and on. I hope the kids gonna be if it's a boy, Michael Jordan, eighteen. If it's a girl, Mykena Jordan. You know, like um, the George Farmer grill. Yeah. George, G Georgina. George, 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 Georgina. <laughs> yeah. Georgiana. Right. You know, Michael do that thing, man. Hey, they say 45, man. And on that note, we're going to play some music. Come right back and talk to you, man. It is the All Out Show with Lord Sip. So much stress. Yeah. So much. So much stress. Oh man, yo, uh, happy birthday to Action Bronson. I don't know if it's birthday today or tomorrow. Um, I, I was on the computer today and I saw a big, pillowy, hairy looking beard with a little white mouth and just a lot of Sasquatch hair with no chin. And it said, Happy birthday to Bronson. And if it's his birthday today, Happy birthday to the big homie, man. I mean, word up. I heard he turned 30. Damn, man. I'm 10, 10 years old, I think. Man, make sure you go buy that blue chips. Cop that blue chips right now. Also, cop the homie Mayhem Lorenz joint. You know what I mean? And stores right now. Go on that iTunes. But right about now, coming up next is the drunk mix. I want to make it extended, but I might. You know what I mean? Uh, about to rock in a couple of minutes. Don't go anywhere. Call up. Let me know what you're sipping on, oh, man. You know what I mean? It's that real shit. Man. It just gets realer than that, fool. 888-742-3345. Lord saying the drunk mix. That's coming up next, all right? I wish I could play resume, man, but I got to get up on 90 here, man. It is the All Out Show. Catch y'all tomorrow. Shout out my nigga Torch Harlem on the boards. Lord Sear. Got to get up on out of here, man. 
Once again, it is the All Out Show. We on Monday through Friday from 4 to 8 Eastern Standard Time. And I will hold it down by myself again tomorrow. Hate to love it. And that's tomorrow, too. J451.